I've been working for 52 years and always in this room and always at that table. A table I've had since I was 25, which is 70 years ago now. It's pretty fragile and uh, I don't know what would happen if I couldn't use it. I thought I would try to do a picture book of a bedtime story I had told my daughter and later my son, which they both liked very much, which was the one about the tiger who came to tea. I'd never done a picture book before. I drew our kitchen. It really hasn't changed that much. When we moved into this house, first thing we did really was to get a cat. Cats are so strange and uh, so funny. Uh, so I thought, well, I'd just make a book about the things that this crazy cat does. When she wanted her supper and we were watching television, she would sit on the set, which you could do in those days if you were a cat, and hang her tail down in front of the screen. So we had to stop and, and give her her supper. I mean, they're terribly clever and uh, very, very determined to have their own way. Probably my most essential tool is a rubber. I rub out an awful lot. When I'm sitting here, I'm not planning a book. I'm drawing. Planning and thinking about what the book should be about, I do all the time, and an awful lot uh, while walking. Walking is, is, is wonderful. It, it seems to sort of take off some bit that would otherwise interfere with your thinking because you're exercising, you're using physical energy, and then the rest seems to float. I couldn't really move house. I would be so frightened that in another space I might not be able to work. I even hang on to the table. Another one might not be right. The whole room is something I cherish. I mean, you come in here and everything's all right. <laughs> 